Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God is forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. This was this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely come first. Hey guys, I got a beautiful show picked out for you today. I'm glad you can tune in again to TGIF. And uh, just a few things. Uh, sorry I didn't post on Thursday. It's just been a hectic week for me and things have been going on wrong. But praise God, I got a six-week work schedule. I might also be leading prayer during the beginning of our work schedule at my job that I currently have at, the, at a restaurant that I work at for dishwashing. And preparing food. Not exactly a line cook, but preparing food, chopping things up. So, I got a few messages. <clears throat> Number one, remember, you can always go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com. Send me all your prayer requests, your needs. If you want a shout-out on my show, you just send me your name and tell me you want a shout-out. I'll shout-out to you on the radio show, on the podcast show. Also, you can call us at one. 1- Two zero three, eight four four. Wait, one two zero three four four eight eight four four three. Again, that's one two zero three four four eight eight four four three. We are all accepting voicemails at the time because we are just a new starting podcast and we haven't uh, got to where we needed to be just yet. But again, that's one two zero three four four eight eight four four three. Also, remember, go to dropbox.com, download the app, and the login information is communitycloud222 at gmail.com. The password is capital G-O-D-W-O-R-K-S-1. That's God's Work 1. No S. That's capital G-O-D, capital W-O-R-K-1. So the S is actually in at the end of God. So it's God's work once, capital G-O-D-S, capital W-O-R-K. Again, it's capital G-O-D-S, capital W-O-R-K, one. So the G and the W are capital in God's work one. Again, it's God's work one. Go to Dropbox and download all previous shows that you either missed or wanted to hear or you think that someone desperately needs to hear a message that was preached earlier, feel free to download it from dropbox.com. And also you can go to the Spreaker app itself to do future, do uh, other stuff for downloading straight from the Spreaker app too. But dropbox.com has everything, all the shows from the beginning to the end. Spreaker allows you to hold so many in there. So dropbox.com is your way to go. Also, remember Worship Saturdays starting soon. Hopefully in March or April we'll be doing Worship Saturdays. Possibly in April. Worship Saturdays will be just worship music and only worship music. So that way you can get into the Spirit of God and enjoy worshiping Jesus with us. So again, that's Worship Saturdays. Again, this is Chapel and Andrew here to teach you the unchangeable Word of God. We got a beautiful song picked out for you from none other than my good friend, Dr. Tom Ray. So it is entitled, We Give Our Hearts to You, from none other, none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy.
Amen, amen, amen. Let's give the Lord a giant hand clap for that. We give our hearts to you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wrong one. But we do give our hearts to you, Jesus. Let's give him a big hand clap. 
Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So, that was We Give Our Hearts to You by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Tonight's message is actually, might it might be a two-part message. I got, I got a lot of pages here. One, two... Three, four, five, almost five full pages of uh, notes that I took down from scripture. So, the title of my message is actually the beginning of my show, which is my question to you. So, here is the title of my message. Is your jar empty? That's the question. The question is, is your jar empty? You don't have to answer this just yet. We will get to that in just a bit. Scripture, first off, the scripture is John chapter 2. So it's John chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. So let's open up my Bible app and let's get to John chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. Famous passage of scripture. On the third day, there was a wedding in Canaan in Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. So first off, Jesus was invited to a wedding in Canaan of Galilee. So, scripture, which is John chapter 2, verse 1 through 10, basically summarizes that Jesus was invited to a wedding. Him and his disciples were. Okay? And the wine ran out. And I like what Jesus said. Jesus said, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Basically, he's saying, what does wine running out at this wedding have to do with me because my hour has not yet come? <clears throat> Jesus' mom said, do as he said. So first off, he's telling her, hey, look, the wine ran out, okay? But she's not arguing with him because he said that, well, what's this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. She's not arguing with him at all. She just basically said, do as he said. Why do you think she said, do as he said, even though he's not con totally concerned by it? Number one, I think because Jesus, mo his mother Mary, knew what Jesus was and who Jesus was. He was basically, when he was born, called Emmanuel, which is God is with us. So she knew that. So she didn't argue with him, I believe, for that reason. So again, Jesus said, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Verse 6. <clears throat> Verse 6. His mother... Okay. Now there was six stone water jars. Therefore the Jewish riots of purification. Each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And they filled them up to the brim. Now draw some out and give some to the master of the feast. They filled up the room and he said to them, Now draw some out and give them to the master of the feast. So they took it when the master of the feast tasted the water, now became wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The master, the feast, the master of the feast called to the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first. And when people have drunk freely, or, or drank well, the poor wine, then they give out the poor wine, the stuff that's not the greatest on the face of the earth. They give out the, the cheap stuff. But you have kept the good wine until now.